What's up guys, today's video is for everyone that is using meta fields on their store, maybe for collection filters, maybe for uh, displaying something on the product page, it doesn't really matter. The point is, you already know how meta fields work, you've got them set up on your product page here, they're showing up, but you've realized that you have a lot of work to do if you have hundreds of products and you need to fill out these meta fields on the product page for each product right? Um, and you're looking for a way to do it in bulk. So I've actually already made a video like that answering how to do it in bulk. Uh, that's this video. And I published it in just January of this year. So only like four or five months ago, that video talks about a method kind of a trick for using Shopify's bulk editor, the built in bulk editor, you know, the one that you access by clicking here and going edit products. And then we can actually change a little bit of the URL, right? I show you how in this video to make the meta fields visible here and to edit them here. So the problem is, and why I'm making this video is because it seems like this method is already outdated <laughs> because Shopify has recently updated or, or is rolling out an update that is affecting some stores. So this no longer works on all stores. Of course, you can watch this video, you can look up this video and see if this method works for you. And then you don't need to use an app, right? But if this method is no longer working for you, then I'm afraid that you need to use an app. And that's what I've been doing recently on my client stores is uh, using various apps to bulk edit meta fields. I don't think that there's really any other way to do it right now. Okay, let's go right ahead and I'll show you the different apps. And um, the reason that I'm showing you three different apps is because they all work with slightly different methods and one might be better for your specific requirements. And just a quick note that I'm not sponsored by any of these apps. I don't even have an affiliate link for any of these apps because none of them have an affiliate program, you know, unfortunately for me. Uh, so yeah, this is just purely a recommendation based on what I use. And I'm not making any money off this video at all. So the three apps are going to be Metafields Guru, Matrixify and bulk product edit. Okay, let's start with Metafields Guru. This is a classic and well known app for editing Metafields. I'm sure you might have run into it before. But yeah, it's probably the leading app for editing Metafields. And it's got this uh, bulk editor, right? Um, and it's got this Excel like editor, these are actually two different things. The first thing is the Excel like editor. This is this is really nice, really useful. It shows you basically a spreadsheet. Um, you add whatever meta fields you want to edit. So I'm going to add the fabric uh, meta field for my products, I'm going to say confirm. Um, and this little slider here, I, I like this, it's just saying not to add too many, because this can make the app laggy while you use it. If you want a good experience, you can just add one. Anyway, it's pretty easy to use. I think that the best way to use it is to uh, use the filters to find products that you know, you want to tag. So for example, if I want to tag all of my cotton pants with the word cotton, um, then I will do something like find the product type of pants, and then just type the word cotton. So that means that the either the title or the description contains the word cotton. And then I can go ahead and actually copy this value. And I can highlight, you know, if I see that these are all cotton, I can highlight just drag out a whole bunch of cells here and then paste into there. And if I know that all of these are cotton, like I know for a fact that based on my filters that all of these are cotton pants, then I can simply select one of these and just click this value populate the entire column with cotton. And it's nice and easy and we save. So that's the Excel like editor in Metafields Guru. Now the second way to edit Metafields in bulk using Metafields Guru is in this bulk actions menu. So what this does is it's like an automation, you set up a task that runs across all the products that you have selected using this filter. Okay, so let's say that for example, um, all of the products that are cotton have the word cotton in the title. Um, just a simple example, what I would do is put this in the uh, filter so that it searches for those products. And next, we're going to apply some kind of um, action on those products, right? So we're going to create or update a meta field 
for all of those products that are matching the filter that we just specified. And here we would just put whatever our meta fields namespace and key is. So for example, mine is filters.fabric. Um, and then I would put the actual value that I want. And then after we click continue, it would just run this action in bulk across all products on your store. And this will cost a certain amount of credits, right? This app is not free. Um, I'll just quickly take a look at the pricing. But basically, uh, you get the Excel like editor on the first plan, there is a free plan, but you do not get the Excel like editor on the free plan and you have to buy app credits for um, the things like bulk actions that we're doing now. Uh, whereas on any of the paid plans, it looks like you have unlimited bulk actions, and it's $9 a month. So I guess like if you're really doing a lot of products, and oh, yeah, it's up to 2000 products, it seems if you're going to be spending hours on something, then I guess this is worth your time. Oh, and by the way, the thing that I also like is that they have this development plan. So if you haven't launched your store yet, um, you will get a lot of the features like the Excel like editor for free until you switch to a paid Shopify plan, which is pretty cool. If you're building a store that isn't live yet. Okay, let's move on to the next app, which is Matrixify. So Matrixify is not like a meta fields app. It's a bulk editing app in general, or rather, it's not a bulk editing app. It's a export import CSV app, um, which is a lot like the default functionality that Shopify provides, you might be thinking Shopify already does an export import, I can export all my products to a CSV, right? The difference is that Shopify's default export does not export meta field columns. So here we have the title, this is the export from uh, the default Shopify export, uh, the title, the uh, description, you know, it has all of these values, the SKU, but it does not contain meta fields. Okay, this app will let you export meta fields. Now, the second and, and the biggest reason why I really like this app, not just for working with meta fields, but actually for doing various other bulk edits, is that it allows you to export just specific columns that you want, or just specific product properties that you want, and then re import those, right? So what I mean is that here, uh, when I'm exporting, I can choose which things I want to export, which properties of the product I want to export. I don't want to export the title, the uh, description, the vendor, the tags or anything like that. I just want the basic the ID, and then the meta fields. Okay. And I can even filter by, um, you know, the product type, for example, if I just want to export shorts. Okay, and uh, what I get is a file like this, which is much more simple, it has the product ID, and then it has the meta fields. So I'm going to update my meta fields here, for example, and then when I go back to re import, right, when I import here, it's going to change the meta fields, it's not going to overwrite the entire product data, right? So what happens with the default editor is that it overwrites everything, it overwrites the title, the description, and everything. And that's just doesn't feel safe to me. Um, you know, despite the fact that this doesn't edit meta fields, when I'm making other edits, I prefer to edit, you know, only the column that I want to actually edit, you know, I don't want to overwrite my entire product when I'm importing into Shopify. That's my big uh, dislike with the default export import feature. So Matrixify is also uh, not free. I mean, it has a free version for 10 products, there's no point of, you know, having Matrixify if you only have 10 products. So up to 5000 products for $20 a month. I think that's reasonable if you're going to be using this for something else. Besides just meta fields, if you only need to bulk edit meta fields, then you could just go with meta fields guru, which is $9 a month. Uh, but if you are going to be making other edits, this is pretty reasonable pricing and matrix of file will let you do a whole lot of things by exporting and import just those fields that you want to change. All right, so moving on with the final app that I want to talk about, which is bulk product edit by uh, Hextom is the name of the company. And this is a bulk editing app. It's actually like more of an automation app It does a whole lot of things uh, besides just meta fields, but you can use it for meta fields. Of course, we're going to go down here to product meta field, but this is all the stuff that it can automate as well. Once again, I'll show you the same kind of example, the product type is going to be shorts, okay, and I'll add another condition, the title, let's say that for example, 
um, all my cotton shorts, the title contains the word cotton. So I'm gonna like filter like that. So it's gonna find all the cotton shorts. And then I can say what I want to do. So you select what products you want to edit. And then you select what you want to do to them. And what I want to do is to add a meta field to that product. And once again, like I showed you with meta fields guru, uh, where I was using the Excel like editor, right, and I put these in to filter. And then I added the namespace and key. So it's like the same thing, only this app does a lot more than just change meta fields. So here I'm going to go filters, uh, fabric, that's the namespace and key of my meta field, and we're going to go cotton. And when I click start bulk edit now, it's going to go through all of those products and add this meta field to them. And uh, what I like about this app, and why you might want to use it instead of meta fields guru is because it does a whole lot of other things besides just edit meta fields. So for example, let's say I want to change the title. Um, if I want to, for example, for all my shorts, uh, if I want the title to also contain the word shorts, right, for SEO purposes, I can add some text to the end of the product title, I'm going to add shorts to the end of the title for all my shorts. And, you know, it's going to bulk rename all of my products, which is pretty cool. I really like apps like this, because they save me so much time. Uh, when I'm working on big stores. And you know, speaking of SEO, speaking of doing this for SEO, they have an actual an SEO menu as well. Again, um, let's say that my product type is shorts. And for an example, uh, I want to change the URL. I mean, this might be kind of a weird example, but I'm in Poland right now. And uh, the word for shorts is shorty written like this. And, um, you know, it might be better for a kind of international SEO if a store is selling uh, for all of Europe, for example, for the, uh, the URL to have the text shorts in English. Uh, so you might want to bulk replace this text in the URL with this text. Okay, I'm sure you can find a better kind of uh, use case for this. But basically, yeah, re bulk replace something in the URL, this is really useful as well. And of course, it does product meta fields and variant meta fields as well. And yeah, a whole lot of things I could do a whole separate video on this app, actually, because it's really useful to automate things on large stores. Oh, yeah, and I almost forgot to do the pricing for this app. But basically, they have a demo version for up to 10 products, they have the basic version for $10 a month, which is quite reasonable uh, for so many capabilities, you know, um, and that's for 500 products. Um, I'm not sure if you're watching this video, you probably have more than 500 products. I find that stores usually either have less than 100, or they have like over a 1000. I don't know if you I don't know if there's that many stores with exactly like less than 500 products, but but more than you know, 100. Anyway, um, I think the probably the most useful one is the one that they recommend, which is $20 a month. Uh, here you all you get 5000 products, and you also get scheduled tasks, which is kind of cool. I imagine it could be really useful for like, if you have something that you have regularly going, you need to regularly rename products or, or do some SEO task or maybe update something for Google shopping or Facebook shopping. So yeah, that could be pretty useful. So to summarize, those are the three apps, Metafields Guru, Matrixify and Bulk Product Edit. Both of these realistically are around 20. This one's $30 a month. This one's $20 a month. And this one is just $9 a month. This one is useful if you're just if you just need to bulk edit meta fields. This one is useful if you want to bulk edit everything in a huge spreadsheet, like if you're really good with uh, Excel, right, or with Google Sheets, and then you might prefer this one. And this one is if you really like automations, and you want to regularly maybe schedule some updates. So that's all for today's video, guys, let me know if you have any questions and uh, what you might want the next video to be about. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Good luck with your product edits and your meta fields. See you next time.